Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. Boy, what a stormy day as expected, especially this morning with uh, wind damage, uh, coastal flooding, flooding due to heavy... Uh, heavy rainfall. The gusts coming in anywhere from 50 to almost 65 miles per hour. We had reports of scattered power outages, some wind damage, some coastal flooding, flooding up Narragansett Bay, and, and some communities had roads that were washed out as well. In fact, we do have team coverage on 12 News, which actually starts at 4 o'clock, and you'll see some of those pictures, but these are the wind gusts. We're not quite through with uh, some high-impact weather. Here's the deal. The areas in red, the high wind warning continues through at least 9 o'clock this evening. Now beyond 9 o'clock and even into all of Saturday, it will be very, very windy, but the magnitude of the wind will be coming down over the border in Connecticut. It is a wind advisory. So this is what we're looking at here. Uh, the rain ending shortly. Uh, the wind gust is still going to be strong uh, up to 50 miles per hour this evening and really throughout the overnight into Saturday, quite windy, but the wind warning criteria will get dropped at 9 o'clock. Here's the concern. It's mo it's well above freezing right now, but we do uh, anticipate a rapid drop in the temperature with an Arctic cold front. Uh, so, and, and when the front comes through this evening, it may produce some scattered snow showers. So you can see in here, this is evening, these little white strips indicating some brief snow showers. Uh, you know, just how fast the pavement can dry out will determine if we get icy spots. I think we do get some icing on, on some untreated surfaces. Wind chills, hard to believe it was close to 60 this morning. Wind chills tonight and towards daybreak on Saturday, Christmas Eve, down to zero. So we are looking at New Bedford, and we're taping this as of uh, 3.30. Uh, looks like the rain has ended there. Uh, still quite windy, and uh, we've got temperatures that are above freezing for now. At, at last check, 49 as of three as of 3.30. But, I mean, look at this blast of cold air. Let me try Where's my cursor? Right here. It's five below in Pittsburgh. I mean, it's, it's not, that's not even the wind chill. That's cold air is going to be rushing in, and there's nothing gradual uh, about the temperature drop. It is going to tumble significantly. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see it drop, you know, 10 degrees in, in a one-hour period. So for this evening, you see that big drop in the temperature, and again, any residual moisture would freeze up into some icy areas, so do be mindful of that. Five in the morning, actual air temperatures at 13. The wind chill is running at about zero. So here's the latest satellite and radar composite, and the front is right about here. So it's kind of through the Hudson Valley of New York, out ahead of it. We're still getting some rain showers, and, and this is the problem, is that this rain is just going to add moisture to the pavement. And then as we widen out the view, um, you can see behind the front some snow showers and very cold air. Let me show you the, uh, the temperatures one more time. Here's the wider view, and you can see the leading edge of that cold air. Uh, out towards uh, central Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. This is headed our way for this evening. When we put this into motion, starting off at uh, 730, you see those white strips indicating some snow showers. What will happen late at night, and this is very interesting. I want to get in real close. You see this little thin ribbon of light blue. Now, this is Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Doesn't look like much, but these are called ocean effect snow. Very, very narrow, confined to the south shore. As very cold air passes down Long Island Sound, it picks up moisture. And you get the, we get what's called ocean effect. So while most of us are actually dry and sunny on Saturday, you get down to Washington County, Westerly, uh, Route 1, Charlestown, Narragansett, uh, Newport, Jamestown, to Bedford, some light accumulations of snow. Very, very localized. In fact, I can, can get in real close here. So this will continue right through Saturday night. And you see that colder air that is rushing in this evening. This is uh, midnight tonight, and here we are uh, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. So if you look closely, you see these arrows coming down, these, this wind trajectory coming down the relatively warm waters of Long Island Sound. But the air is very cold, so it, this cold air picks up moisture in Long Island Sound, and then the, the wind trajectory is just enough to push that moisture towards the coast, and the net result is uh, some snow. So we're getting real close here, and here's a more detailed look. This is 7 o'clock in the evening. These blips of blue indicating some snow showers and snow, and snow squalls. Here we are, and we draw your attention to this narrow strip right down in here. This is overnight tonight. Here we are Saturday morning. Notice we're, we're dry. In fact, we've got some breaks of sun, uh, but these little strips of snow still along the south shore right on through Saturday night. <coughs> Excuse me. So we do anticipate... Some small accumulations along the south shore, anywhere from a dusting to an inch or two of snow. But again, it is very, very localized and confined to a south, uh, south county, a Washington County. 
Windy, frigid tonight, scattered snow showers as temperatures tumble rapidly. It is a bitterly cold day, both Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. Again, we're showing that most areas with some cold sunshine, but again, along the immediate south shore, we'll watch for these very localized narrow bands of ocean effect snow. Christmas Eve night looks dry, frigid for Santa, and Christmas Day looks sunny, but very cold, uh, but dry.